Okay, so today I wanted to show you guys how to use your G10 command and your G54 through G59 commands basically to set offsets for your CNC which is a big benefit if you want to use multiple jigs on your CNC and to automatically be able to make your CNC go to the zero locations of each jig even when you cycle down power or you reset your machine or you hit your e-stop um, it'll always know where these locations are which makes it real real efficient for using multiple jigs on your CNC so let's get started first thing you're going to need is you're going to need limit switches uh, hard limit switches so I am using, I'll just kind of pan over here, the Ready Motion Limit Board, which kind of gets rid of any noise or anything. Uh, and then I'm just using some stock limit switches that came with the CNC. And I am going to use this vise as Jig 1, and I'm going to set up a zero location at the corner of this jig. And then I'm going to set up another zero location in the center of that wrench. So those will be my two jigs. And there is the router that is going to go to each corner and hole. So the first thing we're going to need to do is make sure our machine is home. So I'm going to go ahead and click home machine. Pan over and you can see that the CNC is finding home. So what I'm going to do, because I don't, I don't really like doing too many calculations, I like the machine to do it itself, is I am going to jog over the machine to where I want the zero location of the vice jig. So what I'm going to do is use the ReadyMotion software and just kind of set a distance, push these buttons until the CNC gets over there. So I'll go ahead and Y minus these guys. And let's get this CNC over. I'm gonna kinda And let's get this guy to the corner here. And I'm gonna bring my increments down a little bit more here. Get it right on the edge of the corner, there we go. So I'm going to say this is where I want jig one zero to be. And now to set this up, we're gonna actually have the ready motion system uh, do all the calculations for these coordinates. So what I'm going to use is the G10 command. And I'm going to set up the G10 command and use the second offset. You could have up to six preset locations. Uh, my first one is always set up just at the limit switches. My second one of course is going to be Jig 2 which is the vice. And Jig 3 will be the wrench. So I'm going to go ahead and click on our second offset. And all I'm going to do here is just type X0, Y0, Z0. Go ahead and just hit set offset. And you can see it just typed in or sent G10, P2, L20, X0, Y0, Z0. And what that did is just automatically... Uh, set that location to zero if I'm going to use the G10 uh, second offset. So what I'm going to do is just home the machine again. And all that's going to do is uh, go back to the limit settings or limit switches. Now, in order to use the offset that we just preset, we need to tell 
the CNC which offset coordinate system to use. And to do that, you issue a G command. And the G commands are G54 through G59. How I do it is I just call G54 the preset 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And what I'm talking about is the, the presets here. We got presets 1 through 6 and offsets 1 through 6. We set up we set up uh, preset 2 just, just in the vise. So what I'm going to do is go down to G55. And I'm going to tell the CNC, hey, I want this to be my, my offset. So go ahead and just push that button. And we're set. So since it already went home, I can now issue some rapid movements. So G O O Y zero. It's gonna move the CNC to the Y location. Then go G O O X zero. And there we go, we are at the corner of the jig again. So now anytime I cycle the power, all I have to do is home my machine, select the G55 preset, and I can always go back to this jig whenever I want. Now let's go ahead and set another preset real quick. And we will do the, the hole in the wrench. So I'm going to go ahead and just jog over to the hole in the wrench. I'm going to go ahead and just change my increments a little bit smaller to one millimeter. Alrighty, the drill bit is in the hole. And now I'm going to do the same thing here. But this time instead of using preset 2, I'm going to use preset 3. And just type the same thing, x0, y0, z0. Set preset 3, set that offset, again it sent the G code right there. I'm going to go ahead and just home my machine again. And when I home my machine, my coordinates are still set up for jig 2. Which I'll show you in right now actually, as soon as this gets home. Okay, everything's home, and let I'm gonna just sh go right back to the vise. So G O O X zero, or actually I want to do Y so I don't crash my machine. You'll see the machine's going. Then I'm gonna do my X zero, and you'll see I go right back to the jig again. Now let's say I'm done using this jig, and now I want to go to my wrench jig. And I want to use that coordinate system that we just set up. Check it out, it's pretty easy. All I'm going to do is type in the G56 command or my third offset. Hit set pre-offset. And now it already changed the coordinate system. So now I could actually go G00 X0 G00 Y0 And finally, G O O Z zero. And look at that, we're right back in the hole. And same thing if I home this machine. If I home this machine, and since I'm on the wrench coordinates, All I have to do again is just type X0, Y0, you could even do two at the same time. It'll put those in, and of course Z0. 
Mm. Go to the center of the wrench. Again, this w this will hold these positions even after I cycle power or anything else. They're great to use for for any time you want to use multiple setups. I recommend using the the G10 commands a lot more than G92 because anytime you cycle the power on G92, you'll automatically lose your position. So there you go. If you have any questions, just post them below or go to our website or email us, call us, whatever works for you guys. Thanks. Bye.